In this Rumble Studio review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this podcast support tool. Rumble Studio lets you conduct remote interviews and produce podcasts in a snap. Once you've logged into Rumble Studio, you come over to the dashboard. They do have a quick tutorial video right at the beginning, so if you had any queries or problems, you could watch this. As we can see at the moment, we don't have any interviews, so if we just go ahead and go on New Interview, we can set our new interview title, our interview description, which is private and optional, and then we have a few different settings we can choose from. We can choose from a blank interview, which is completely from scratch. There's a simple audio interview, which ready to ask two audio questions and customize the welcome and closing messages. And then we also have podcast interview episode, ask two audio questions and guest information. So I'm going to go ahead and go on podcast interview episode and click on create. So this is where we create our interview questions. So first we have our welcome message. I'm going to set that to hello. We have our greeter message, and you can also add an image to decorate your page. If we click on there, you can obviously import a file, or there is files to choose from. Now these are actually music files, so we can actually add music to our first page. Then once you've chosen that, if you just go on submit, as we can see here, it's actually got a preview as well. So we've got our welcome, so we've got our greeting title and our greeting description, and then they would obviously just enter their email into there. You also have the option to view it on a mobile phone, to see what it would look like on there. Below there, we have guest information. So you can customize your step title. Again, obviously we can see this on the preview and the step description. We also have customization options here, so we can set what's required. So first name field required, last name field required, Profile picture field required, we could just tick that and so on. Again, this can all be seen on the preview. The third section is the audio request. So for audio request, we can type a question that we want them to answer via their microphone. So I could type in there, what is your favorite food? Then below there we have, please enable your microphone. And that gives them the option to answer there. We do have another audio request there where we can just add another question. And then below there, we have our closing message. So you can set your closing message header. It's automatically sent to thank you and the closing message. So thank you for taking the time to complete this form. There's an optional call to action text, and you can also add a website link. There's the options for hide, try Rumble Studio button and hide celebrate again button. And as always, we can see this on our preview. Right at the bottom here, we have the option to add steps. So we can insert an audio question for our guest. So between every step, we do have a little plus button where we have the options to add an audio question for our guest, ask in a text field, ask your guest for a picture, request a video from your participant, and so on. On the left-hand side here as well, we can see this sidebar, and we can just drag and drop different requests in. So if I decided to go for a text request after our audio request, we can drag and drop that there. So here we could type in our first guest question. You can then obviously set your description and the text field name. And as we can see on the preview, our guest would type their answer into there. Say after what is your favorite animal, I could drag in a video request. Here I could ask another question for our guest, which I want them to answer via video. And we have loads of different options here. We've also got slider request, number request. We have different messages and advice. So we can add in a recording advice, for example, and that will just give them a checklist for smooth recording. There's also advanced requests like call to action, guest info, guest referral, and multiple choice questions. So we have all these features which we can put in there to sort of create our interview for the podcast. It always just has to end with the closing message. On the next page, we have preview and theme. So we can see on the preview here, this is what our guest will see. And we can obviously just scroll along so we've got our welcome message they would obviously continue enter their information drag a profile picture like we asked these are all optional then they can start answering our questions so we've got the first one via audio we have our second question via text and we've got our final question via video and then finally we've got our thank you form at the bottom so we can customize the guest experience by adding a branding kit we can also select from the Rumble Studio, which it's on now, or the Example Podcast. If I go on New Branding Kit, we can add our name, our description, 
and our website. We can then import an image and set our color theme. Once you're happy there, just go and create. You can then add the font family and we can just go ahead and select a font. So we can also customize the font size. We can make it smaller or bigger and select the layout as well. Once we're happy there, if we go on save, on the next tab, we have share. So this has got our different invitation links. There's obviously the link where you can email invitation link or tweet invitation link. We have a QR code, the option to embed it or generate a PDF flyer. Finally, we have answers for when the guest has answered our questions. And we have the options of downloading all text content and downloading all answers from our participants. There's also the option to mix creation where you can create a mix using your guests answers. Once that's done, we can see that our interview shows up in the interview section. With multiple interviews, you do have the option of filtering it by text. And of course, you can create a new interview. We do have some menu options where we can edit our interview, duplicate it, archive it if, say, the interview had been completed, or delete it. Below interviews, we have mixes, similar to what we just previously went on with mixes, but you can go on new, set the mix title, set the description. Do you want to start your mix using some guest answers? Yes. We can select from our interview, first interview, select from our guests and click on create. Here we have the option to drag in some of the answers that our guest has said. Obviously with our guest, we haven't got any answers at the moment, but you could just drag them in. You could add in all the audio segments, go and confirm. You could also select your music for the mix. So I could go for this one. You'd have the option of uploading your own audio or you could drag one in or you could choose from your favorites. Once they're dragged in, you can obviously generate your new export and that will create your mix. Right at the bottom, there's also a preview section where you can preview your mix before exporting it. Below mixes, we have the material section where we have file library. Here is where all the audio and the music will show up. Anything that you've uploaded as well will also show up in this section. There's also the export section. Now say if we exported our mix or we exported the interview, then this would show up here. And below there, we have branding kits where you have the options to select from either Rumble Studio, the example podcast, or create your own. To create your own, you'll just click on new Obviously, we did this earlier and set our color scheme and brand. That's just about everything. So what did I think of Rumble Studio? Rumble Studio made interviews and podcast questions simple. It takes away all the stresses you could have with interviewing a guest. I love the customization options and being able to drag your questions in, whether that's audio, video or text based. So would I recommend Rumble Studio? Absolutely, I would definitely recommend it. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time.